what's happening y'all it's Ivan here and we're going over the flash today so we're back from um flash is back from crisis the last show to uh to come back from crisis and right out the gate you know because the multiverse is different now everyone's together they take us live to the new ccc that's too many c's cc jitters <laughs> um apparently jitters has been closed for a while they've repackaged retooled and they've reopened and now that jitters is real is officially reopened they're being robbed <laughs> so this guy comes in like he's, he's trying to rob the place and then the girl the girl who works there, she's like bro like we just opened like an hour ago there's no money so he's just like all right well i guess i'm gonna have to start blasting people and he starts shooting the place up and then uh the flash shows up you know like he rescues everybody save cc jitters and everybody's all like yay <laughs> you know which is uh, which is cool it's nice to have jitters back um and and the remodeling looks looks good as well I'm not sure. I, I, forget, I forget why they closed. Like, I don't remember if there was an episode where, like, someone blew it up. <laughs> you know, like, I actually forgot why it closed. But anyway, Jitters is back now. So, now, the, they, they take us to Cisco and Caitlyn. Um, Cisco and Caitlyn, they're talking post-crisis. You know, Cisco's actually freaking out because he's just like, oh, you know, before, before there was a multiverse, you know, like, everything was one way, and now, he's like, Superman, Supergirl, Black Lightning, he, he said Black Lightning, at least somebody said his name, and, you know, he's like, everybody's all on one Earth now, and then he was like, the timelines have been fixed, so that way, they've always been on this Earth, and everybody's always known them to be on this Earth, you know, then Caitlin's like, well, what's wrong with that, and then he was just like, everything, because he was like, none of our doppelgangers exist anymore, but for some reason, although all the Earths merge together, he was like not only do we have our villains we have all of their villains as well so like supergirl villains are here now lex luthor <laughs> lex luthor is here now you know the alien bar is here so aliens now exist on earth prime um caitlin even said gorilla city she said gorilla city is now on earth prime um you know Mar the markovian invasion on black light and markovia they're here um you know they're here on earth prime as well so cisco has like a like a a playing card catalog with all the new villains because like he's been cataloging all the villains you know like we saw like um brie larson the bee lady in there you know we saw um uh, we saw a few people like the rainbow raider you know and everything and then you know caitlin had brought up magenta so cisco's whole thing is he was just like you know there's a lot of new threats now like there's a lot of new things that we don't know about you know he was like he's like i now have superman t-shirts he's, <laughs> he's like i don't know where i got a superman t-shirt from and he was sad over the fact that you know other people like you know like jesse quick and harrison wells are you know pres are presumed dead and i don't think that's the case like because they said like because there was there was a moment during the show where um allegra um allegra had said um she said something about using the extrapolator and cisco was like we can't use the extrapolator anymore because the there's no more multiverses so the frequency is different somebody said something about the frequency being different because when they were when they were talking about the multiverse I forget, I, matter of fact, it was Lena Luthor. Lena Luthor, when she was doing the Q-Waves, she said that she, because she had the formula for Q-Waves, and then she said that the formula doesn't work anymore because the vibrations of the, of the, the vibrations of the multiverse are, di of the, of the, or, you know, like the multiverse is different now. She's like, you know, and even before they could, like the Flash always said that, you know, Har Harry always said his Earth vibrates on a different frequency. So my whole guess is, the multiverse still exists because we saw it at the end of crisis they showed you earth 2 with star girl they showed you earth 9 with titans with swamp thing and everything so the multiverse still exists the problem is it's on a different frequency now that's why cisco can't find it and because he doesn't have his powers <laughs> he's not going to be able to find it until he gets his powers back because he did have his powers back temporarily in crisis but then he lost them when the crisis finished um so then <laughs> so later on you know like him like him and him and um, nash wells got into it you know he basically he was beefing with nash and then he was just like oh nash you suck this is all your fault but then later on he realized like he was basically just taking his anger out on nash because he felt like had he not gotten rid of his powers he would have been able to do more he would have been able to save more people he'd have been able to help more people but because he doesn't have his powers he's like the least he can do is he's basically going to like go around the world now and try to find out the changes and the differences of all the different earths and like how all the earths are changed so he can basically like catalog everything so that's going to be his way to say that's that's basically how you get carlos off the show for a while which is kind of silly because 
him doing that would have made more sense if he had his powers, <laughs> you know, but he's literally going to take a backpack and just, like, travel around the world, so I'm just like, whatever, you know, whatever gets, if, if that's how he wants to get off the show, that's how he gets off the show, you know, and, and that was, um, and, and, you know, and then he let, um, he put Nash in charge, and, you know, Nash, um, he was just, that's how we get, that's how we get our new wells, so Nash was just like, all right, you know, because Nash is smart, he can take Cisco's spot until Cisco comes back. So Barry, um, Barry and Iris, you know, they're waking up, you know, doing the couple thing, and then Barry, you know, actually Iris was by herself doing her reports, and then Barry comes home and he's just like, hey, when I was saving some people from a from a car explosion, guess who I found? And then he rolls up on his big daddy Dig, you know, like Dig from um, from Arrow, and this this episode actually takes place one week before Diggle got the ring because, you know, he he had told Iris he was just like, yeah, Lila's gonna take a job in Metropolis. But, and then she was like, shouldn't you be packing? And he was like, no, we're going to pack next week. So when he said we were going to pack next week, you know, that basically means, because again, when he, he got the ring after they were finished packing, like as soon as the the truck was loaded up and they were ready to leave, that's when the ring crashed. So this this whole episode is one week before he gets the ring. So Diggle and, and, and Bear, you know, like um, they said that they read Oliver's will and there was a mask inside you know that oliver had left for barry and it was the original the original green arrow mask that barry made for oliver in season two there was some residue on it and then barry was like oh my god what's this and then you know he was just like oh he did he did his little um you know his little um forensics thing and then he was just like you know the residue on this mask is from lee and you and he's like diggle we gotta go we gotta go to lee and you to investigate because maybe there's some leftover mirakuru and oliver wants us to find it the mission's not over and then you know he grabs diggle and they run to lee and you diggle was just like he was just like like barry was like look bro he was like it'll it'll be quicker if we run to lee and you He's like, otherwise, it's like a 20-hour flight, and then Diggle, like, took some aspirin out, like, some sickness pills, and he was just like, all right, he was like, let, let's, he took, like, 18 of them, and Barry was like, that's too many, and then, um, you know, he took off, and then they ran to Lian Yu, so they go to the, they go to Slade's old cell in Lian Yu, and when they opened up Slade's old cell, they found a box of Mirakuru, and the box was empty, you know, Barry was just like, what if somebody found it, what if someone's out there creating, um, the, the next death stroke, and that's what I thought. My whole thing is, I don't give a damn what Diggle says, because Diggle gave him the speech of, take the win, man, you know, Oliver wasn't trying to give you a clue, he was just trying to give you a gift, and you gotta slow down and enjoy the gift that Oliver gave you, and you're, he was like, you're freaking out over nothing, he's like, you're looking for a crusade that doesn't exist, and I'm like, bullshit, somebody took the Mirakuru out right of that box, so, you know, so, Barry, like, Barry's gonna give Dig it, I told you so. Maybe not this season, maybe next season, but um, I refuse to believe that box was empty. Somebody took that Mirakuru. So, <laughs> so anyway, you know, so that 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 was it for them, uh, and it was um, it was good to see Diggle. You know, it was good to see Diggle again, and uh, you know, again, hopefully he'll pop up next time with the ring. So now the the main portion of the show. Um, when we last saw Team Citizen, Iris and them were investigating this um they were investigating like the organization that kidnapped esperanza which was allegra's um cousin she's the one that has like you know i, I keep forgetting like um um allegra is um is a metahuman because they don't they don't talk about her power at all but <laughs> like like she's a met like everybody like she's a metahuman like cecile's a metahuman but at least cecile uses her powers but anyway but they were just like the organization that kidnapped her cousin they've secretly been inside of star labs for seven years since the particle accelerator they were just trying to find out who so iris and them they were putting a case together with all the information that they found because the guy who they rolled up on in the previous episode the one who was basically they called him like um he they called him like the um a villain uber driver where he he transports items that villains want to auction you know they um you know they 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 talked to him they did they got some information from him. the guy wound up dead and the people this organization you know were the ones who killed him so Iris had an informant. The guy was just like, yeah, the you know, like McCullen Industries was the people who um, created the weapon that killed the, the the Uber driver. So Iris was talking to him, trying to get some information. And then the guy was like, the organization you're looking for, they call themselves Black Hole. You know, so that was that was the name of the organization. So now Iris goes to and, and apparently Black Hole, they stole a gun from McCullen Industries and the gun that they stole someone was using to channel um tremendous amounts of light to burn 
people alive and to burn holes through people. So Iris goes and talks to the president of the company, Mr. McCullen himself. And then he said that, you know, his wife was no, well, he, he, he never said his wife was dead. Um, he, you know, Iris was just like, listen, we found out that you got robbed and the person who robbed you was going around killing people. And the guy was like, look, he was like, you know, everything, he said, everything that I do is for the protection of my wife's legacy. Now, one would hear that and think that his wife is dead. He never said that. He was just like, it's just so, but Iris assumed that his wife was gone. And then he was just like, I don't want you to run the story because if you run the story, then it's going to look bad on my company. And then it's going to, you know, and, and I don't want to, I don't want to put that type of um, disrespect in my wife's name. And Iris was like, yeah, but people are out there dying and I got to report the truth. So she goes out and she reports the truth. So then she's back at, um, she's back at the, well, I was, gonna, I was about to say the hideout. <laughs> she's back at her, um, her reporter room her reporter studio whatever <laughs> her paper the citizen was well, called the citizen um, the central city citizen she was, she was at the citizen with the rest of the girls and cecile was just like you know iris you know like don't run the story because you don't want to put you don't want to like if this if this black hole you know organization exists you don't want to put that out there iris is like no i'm gonna do it anyway she puts it out there black hole tries to kill her and all the other girls they everybody runs away they go to star labs um you know cecile ran to joe <laughs> And Nash shows up. He found out that the girls almost got killed. And then he got mad at Cisco. And he was like, why don't you call me? And Cisco's like, because you're not a part of the team. You know, <laughs> and then the two of them got into it. And come to find out that the reason why Nash is so worried. And I said that. If you go back to some of my old, my other Flash videos, I said that the reason why Nash has this thing with Allegra is like, that was his daughter on a different earth. And that could, that could very well be the case because Nash had a photo, an old photo of him and Allegra. And obviously that's Allegra from his earth, but I don't know if she adopted her, if that's his actual daughter, that's his niece, you know, little sister, whatever the case may be. But he's related to her in some way, shape, because they didn't, they weren't lovers, obviously. So she's related to him on another earth. That's why he's like very protective of her. So, you know, Iris, you know, she goes back, you know, she goes to talk to her source again. She's like, you know, what happened? The guy gives her a, um, a card key and a bunch of keys and a little like button looking thing um black hole kills him <laughs> you know um she the black hole woman attacks iris you know iris gets away she goes back to star labs and she passes out because she has like third degree burns and then everybody was telling her like yo slow down because you you jumping in this thing head first and something bad gonna happen you know but she was just like the reason why she was doing that because you know she thought crisis was coming and you know but now that crisis is over she's still stuck in like i gotta fix things mode she's still stuck in like you know she's still stuck in like flash mode you know where she gotta she gotta do everything but you know they but you know but the but joe, joe even came back and he talked to her he was like yo just slow it down baby girl and then you know everybody was trying to get a hold of barry but they couldn't because he was on lee and you <laughs> and then um and then they find out that the the woman who's going around killing everybody on behalf of black hole she's a metahuman who can create light but her light isn't strong enough to burn people but with the gun that they stole from McCullen Industries, she can channel her power through the gun, amplify it, and then that gun is now powerful enough to burn people and burn holes through burn holes through walls and brick and everything. Like Cisco said, the you know she's got the gun, but the metahuman herself, she's the uh, she's the ammunition, and she said that you know she has light power, and they called her a new powerful version of Doctor Light because Cisco said in the beginning of the episode there are going to be new mo there are going to be more new metahuman threats and i think a lot of the threats that we're going to get on the flash at least they're going to be new more powerful versions of the rogues gallery we're going to get stronger versions of the rogues i mean we already got the new weather witch we're probably going to get a new captain cold you know we got a new um we got a new dr light you know which is sad because i really wanted linda park to come back and you know and you know we're and again like so and then they then but Cisco brought it up he said that there are other there are there are uh, an enormous amount of new villains that popped up so we're gonna see these villains unfold as like the seasons you know progress especially on like every show so in the end you know when Iris thought about it you know because she was just like for she was just like you know the fact that Black Hole's coming after her she said that she only put Black Hole on blast and only two people knew about it and that was her informant who's now dead and the leader of McCullen Industries. So she so so she put two and two together and then she realized and then she rolled up on on the McCullen dude and she told him to his face. She was like, "Yo." She was like, 
you're not she's like she's like you know the the gun got stolen from you like you know all this stuff all these weapons all this stuff you like you trying so hard to keep this whole thing under wraps she put two and two together and she was like you didn't get robbed by black hole you are black hole and he's using his company as a front for like you know extortion you know like rob, br- bribery theft robbery like he's basically a crime boss like you know <laughs> like he's a he's a high powered you know high level crime boss you know so mccullen he's he basically sent his new powerful dr light to go kill iris but they pulled the wool over her eyes iris wasn't there instead killer frost and joe were there and they were trying to take down the new dr light meanwhile Iris ends up going back to McCullen Industries to confront the dude again, and then she told him, she was like, yo, tell your doctor, like, to stand down, because if you kill me or any, any one of my friends or people that I love, she's like, I got a dead man switch, you know, set to where if anybody dies, all the information that leads you to that, you know, that basically, like, um, connects you to Black Hole will be released out into the public. So he was like, all right, fine. He's like, I'll stand down. So he stands down. He calls off, you know, Dr. Lake. And then Iris is like, you know, she gave him the, like, I'll see you next time, fool. I'm coming for your ass. And then, you know, like, Iris left. So then at the end, you know, she was talking to Barry. They were just like, yeah, we both need to slow down a little bit, you know, because crisis is over and we have plenty of time. Her phone goes off. Well, not, but her phone didn't go off, but she ended, she ended up thinking, actually, she ended up thinking, because when she was at McCullen Industries, she saw a room that was called um, AV3, and then she remembered that McCullen's wife's name was Ava, so she goes, she still had the keys and the card key from the employee, they didn't cancel, security didn't cancel his card yet, <laughs> so she, she used the card to go through his building, she went to that room, that, that, um, that EV3 room, and when she went to the room, she was just walking around, trying to see if she could find stuff, you know, taking pictures and everything. And then while she was taking pictures, all of a sudden she was standing, like, the, the person's desk was right in front of a gigantic mirror. She takes, like, the sheet off of the mirror, she's looking at the mirror, looking around, and then she turns around, and then two arms come out of the mirror, yank Iris, and drag her into the mirror. And that's how the show ended. So now we have our new mirror master, <laughs> and it's um and it's McCullen's wife, which is um which is which is gonna be which is gonna be pretty cool. You know, I saw the I saw the trailer for next week's episode, and now Iris is all like you know jumping in. She's all like she's a badass now. She's beat, she's kicking ass and taking names. And Barry's just like yo, it was really good. And then she's just like what? Like somebody stepped to me, so I put him down. And I don't know if that's if that's I I don't I don't know if that's actually Iris. And she's just all messed up in the head because she was in the mirror or if Ava McCullum is in Iris's body. So now it's Ava and Iris in there and there um, there are two people inside her or maybe Ava switched. She put herself in Iris's body and left Iris in the mirror or if she used the mirror to create a like a. um we'll call it a mirage. she used the mirror to create a duplicate of iris and she has like an evil duplicate of iris out there in the world meanwhile she still has the actual iris trapped in the mirror there are so many different ways they can go with the mirror thing and i have no idea again like if that's the real iris or not but i like that you know like i like the um, i like the fact that iris has something to do like you know i like the reporter stuff because giving like you know because before when she would get into trouble she would get into trouble because everyone else was in trouble and she was just like down by association. But because she's doing the reporter thing now, it makes perfect sense why she specifically gets into trouble now because she's, she's sticking her nose in everyone's business and people are going to try to kill her. <laughs> you know, so it gives her something to do. It gives the Flash something to do. And you can always bring up new metahuman villains to plug into these situations. And um, yeah, and that was it. So we have um, An- Antoinette. She's supposed to be coming back next episode, so that'll be cool to see. And um, like I said, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. Fla- Flash is back and it's off to a good start. So we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. So thank you for um, tuning in for that. Check out my Birds of Prey review that I have on my channel. Legends of Tomorrow coming soon. Black Lightning and all that stuff. Um, like I said, it's coming up in the Pipeworks. So just uh, keep it locked. Keep it tuned. And until next time, for The Flash, I'm out this video.